Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and this video is all about tent life. Those of you who are just joining us, I'm Nick, this is Sarah and our two little doggies around the camp somewhere. You can probably see the tent behind us. Yes, we're now living in a tent. We've gone from van life to house life, then house life to tent life. <laughs> so basically we're in Spain and we're on a lockdown that's very, very strict and it's been over a month now. And because we're so used to our van life and spending so much time in the great outdoors, we've really, really missed it. So we have decided to move ourselves onto our roof and into our tent and it's really cool and we're really really excited to show you around. We're really missing the van we haven't actually seen Vinny for a month now because we can't even walk to the other end of the village so yeah we're missing the van missing life on the road and the great outdoors so the next best thing is being up on the roof and so a few days ago we decided to move on to it. exciting is this guys we've got all of our camping gear up there but you know what I'm sure we've forgotten something but the good thing <laughs> is we're just up on the roof so we haven't got far to go <laughs> go and grab it if we have so this is the best camping trip ever because you know you always forget something when you go camping you get it oh damn I left that behind <laughs> but anyway yeah we're so excited so the first thing we're gonna do before we do anything to that pile is and first rule of camping grab yourself a beer and discuss how you're gonna set everything up yeah this isn't just an easy task we've got a huge tent and loads of camping gear and our roof isn't really that big so yeah we definitely have to have a beer first ching ching and discuss how this is going to go down Well, this is our third day, I think, is it? Third day, third day in the tent. And um, it's just really nice. It's so relaxing. You just hear the birds singing. There's not many cars because it's a lockdown. So there's just not much outside noise apart from the nature. Lots of cockerels, not gonna lie. They've been waking us up at 3 a.m. But um, apart from that, yeah, it's really good. It's just nice to be up here and get up in the morning and sit out on our chairs with a coffee and watch the sunrise. I mean, I know that we can just come up here anyway if we're downstairs in the house, but you just don't tend to do that. It's nicer to have somewhere to actually be up here, if that makes sense. Yes, it's so nice to be outside because we're used to being on the road. And as Vinny is quite a small van, we just spend so much time outside. Yeah and exploring so up here on this roof terrace we're lucky to have you've just got beautiful views kind of in like a valley so all you can see around us is hills and like mountains off in the distance and it's yeah as Sarah said you just hear the bird song there's not many cars at night though the first night to be fair Dizzy's not used to it we've never slept on the roof never thought about it <laughs> until now and the, yeah there was the cock calls and dogs barking in the distance and they all set Dizzy off and Diz was just up and down all night, wasn't he? We did have a noisy first night, but then last night was just really peaceful. And um, I don't know, we're just feeling really good. It feels like we're on a, like a little permanent type holiday, which is great. But anyway, enough yap. I was just going to say, yeah, this has to be the best set, set up ever. You know, you go to a campsite and you, 
you get your base set up and you know check out the facilities well this place has got everything yeah it really has we gave it a good scrub as well before we set up camp here so um, we're just really happy but enough yap yap let's show you around base camp so yeah this is our plot and um, the tent actually takes up about half of the space up here um, as you can see it's I think it's a four person tent it's quite roomy and the way that we put the tent up we don't have any earth we are on tiles but uh, it kind of holds itself up and then with all of our plant pots that's what we've used to hold the tent up and yeah we've had quite a bit of strong wind already and the tent's not going anywhere so these ropes and ties everywhere also double up as a little washing line uh, are acting really really well and keeping the tent in place. So this is the entrance to our main sort of living area and as you come in you'll notice these lovely reclining sun loungers and these are some more creations by the lovely Sarah, some more patchwork cushions. These are perfect for lying back on, catching some rays. Yeah so I actually hand stitched, handmade these cushions it was before I even had a sewing machine and they took me blinking ages what I love about them is this check this out see this you've got desert camouflage here and these are actually made from a jacket from the army so it's really tough material you've got pockets there that on one side and then just patchwork same thing used there the outside so cool and they can also be flipped around to create this nice little space here make it nice and cozy so this is our main garden area and now we actually have two of these big green rugs up here we started off by just bringing one up we've moved one into the tent and now we have this one for our outside garden area and this one proper looks like the you know the grass effect and then surrounding our little grass effect outside rug we have our garden pots either side and it just gives it quite a nice sense of being in nature if you like we really like the fact that we've got this kind of uh what would you call this area porch this porch yes a porch to our tent because we can actually bring our chairs in here if it gets a bit windy or cold and it kind of shelters you and also if it starts raining as long as it's not too torrential we can kind of just sit inside this area so it's pretty cool um, inside here we've got like our little table area for preparing drinks and some food and whatnot and then that side is like our little electrical setup where we've run the cable from the house over here we've also got our water tap um, yeah so we've got a couple of taps there and a long hose for watering ourselves or watering the garden or washing up maybe washing up anything else we need water for and yeah the cool box lives under here with all of our food supplies in it and i think that's about it from this area so in here is where all of the magic happens this is the bedroom the lounge the, the chill, chill out. the chill out yeah the chill out area and you just feel really really cozy in here and at first we had the bed slightly different we had it over there and then we've moved it to this this way because this is more this is nicer for kind of just chilling sitting off and admiring the view if it's a bit chilly outside either side here we've got our two storage boxes stroke tables that are really great because we can sit here like so and get on with our editing and it's actually really a comfortable position to be on your laptop and obviously we can both do it together um, and it also inside here we've got like our games and our clothes and just other bits and bobs to keep out the way to keep the tent nice and clear and tidy um, as I mentioned before we've got this lovely green um, fluffy mat have you noticed that everything's matching as well everything's kind of got the green vibe going on even our little fairy lights from Thailand are in with the color coding of the whole camp <laughs> so also at the back of the tent there we've got like a little window to keep us nice and cool in here and it just really is a nice space to feel completely relaxed and chilled this is the daytime setup where we've got our big cushions at the back seat you can lean on and then just at night we take these off these are also another one of my 
patchwork design. And then we can just put these down there to extend the bed for the dogs to go or not, or we can sit on one of these while we're editing. And then obviously we'll just have the bed, how the bed is at night time. Got a little bit of room either side of the bed. We've got our little acupuncture mat for our back, my yoga mat and also my guitar is that side. And it wouldn't be proper camping if we were sleeping on a regular mattress, would it? We are sleeping on a proper camping air mattress. That is the sound of camping. <laughs> I've missed that sound. And you know what? It's actually really, really comfortable. And we've done two nights in here now and it hasn't gone down. So we're quite chuffed with that. And here we have the kitchen area set up. Um, we've got the two burner gas stove with grill. We've also got our rubbish bin. We've got a little open fire barbecue, which we haven't actually had yet because it's been quite windy, but we are looking forward to getting that out. Uh, we've got our little pots and pans um, box underneath and the doggies have got their little uh, food and water stations in the little boxes down there. Uh, we've also got up here our little camping chairs so when we don't want to sell them these ones if we're having food or whatnot we can bring our chairs out and sit around this table or we can move this table right in where the view is if we like to so yeah we're just we've just got everything we need. So as Sarah mentioned we have got a little travel barbecue over there and we're hoping to light a fire in there but it has been a bit windy so if it is too windy we can always use this nice little oil drum barbecue because it has got a lid in it terrace is a bit small wind small terrace little embers and tent do not mix so we have got this and we've also got a gas barbecue on the lower grounds of the campsite So yeah, we're quite happy with the camp now. Over the last few days, we've moved the layout around quite a few times and we've settled on this and it's good. It's a nice little cozy sort of space, a little sanctuary. Just take your mind off everything that's going on in the world. And yeah, we're really happy. So the doggies are absolutely loving tent life. I think it's great for them because they're outside the whole time or they can come and chill inside the tent. But Charlie in particular, if you've been following our channel for a while, he does suffer from um, seizures and he seems to get them kind of when he's cooped up inside. His main seizures he's had is when we've been living in a house. He's only literally had a couple on the road in all of the, you know, in, in the whole couple of years that we were traveling. And we actually came back and we've been in the house for over a month and he's had two seizures already. So this was a, a big reason why we decided to move up onto the roof because he can just be so much more relaxed and he can just lay outside all day long. And already he does seem really, really chilled. We are still taking the dogs for their three walks a day. Um, they don't go to the toilets up here. So apart from that, we're just permanently on the roof. And the great thing is about this location is it's quite crazy really because even though we're kind of surrounded by houses all around us this is actually like a, a proper little private den you're not actually overlooked by any windows or or any people like peeking over so all you can see is just like the really pretty rooftops of the village and uh, you know you could just lay here naked if you wanted to you've got literally your own little secret hideaway you guys probably think we're absolutely crazy coming to live on our roof. And we are a little bit, <laughs> but why not? Why not indeed? It's an absolutely lovely climate this time of year. It really is. It's still nice and cool in the evenings. I mean, in July and August, it gets really hot here in Andalusia. So I'm not sure hot. if we would be able to live in the tent then. In the summer, July and August, like after 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, the tiles are burning. It's ridiculously hot. But anyway, this time of year, it's beautiful. You know, waking up for sunrise and you get the mist in the valleys and it yeah it's not too hot you get a bit of cloud cover amazing sunrise and sunsets it's really nice isn't it yeah we're having a really just chilled time 
and like we said before the dogs are really enjoying it so, so that's the main thing isn't it and we've got everything we need up mm. here and obviously if we need if we forget anything we can just go down the house is only there so it's just fabulous really and um, the reason why we've got all this camping gear is before we got the van we just love to go camping and mm. we haven't used any of this gear for like probably close to three years the time since that we've, we got the since van we, yeah. since we got the van we did actually think the tent was a bit smaller yeah we forgot how big it was and we thought oh we'll just go in the corner of the terrace and we'll have you know the rest of the terrace to play with but yeah it does fill up most of the terrace but it's quite nice because you've got the little porch way and stuff so um yeah makes so, a nice little area doesn't it it's lovely um, so yeah, we, we did get rid of a lot of stuff in the house, but the camping gear was something that we were like, no, we are not getting rid of our camping gear because we do literally have everything we everything for camping. We've got obviously with the cool box and uh, everything else and all the camping chairs and, and these are great as well. So um, it's a proper setup. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, we haven't had any rain yet since we've moved up here, but I think I think we'll be OK because the tent is waterproof and then we'll just roll our rugs up and uh, continue as we are it has been a bit windy but as we've tied the tent to all these plant pots it's held in place yeah, so it's um, been fine it's cool it? yeah we're really quite happy on our roof terrace in this tent and if it hadn't been for the lockdown we probably never would have got the tent out again so yeah. Um, so we've, yeah we, it's like we've had a new lease on life mm. isn't it yeah so for those of you um, who are getting a bit claustrophobic stuck in your house if you've got a tent get it out and camp in the garden if you've got a garden if you've got a garden yeah because <laughs> yeah it's in, it's invigorating being in the outdoors again so anyway um we yeah. are lucky to have the good views though aren't we yeah we are very lucky and, and we're very um, grateful we've just actually been sat watching the vultures we get so many vultures here and they swoop and they're really low and they just go circling around and it's really lovely isn't it's it incredible we've had like 30 or 40 we've counted on yeah Basically, I think we're just going to stay up here for as long as as long as we can. Really, I think mm. this is sort of new, new, the new home now, and we can do everything that we can do downstairs. Obviously, because we've run our cable up, so we can. We've been editing in the tent. I can bring my little sewing machine up here, and we can just. Uh, so for the yeah. foreseeable future, we're going to be hashtag tent life in it. So, yeah. <laughs> so expect to see more of this camp as we um, explore what you can get up to on your terrace. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Stay safe. Stay happy. Hashtag stay at home. Hashtag stay in your tent on your roof terrace. And we shall see you all in the next video. I will just add, although we are living up here, we're cooking up here, we're sleeping up here, we're editing up here, we're playing up here, yes games lots of little games and that kind of thing but we are using our bathroom downstairs so we are going to the house to use the loo because that would just be ridiculous if we were peeing in the bushes here <laughs> yeah uh, our porta potty is in the van otherwise we'd have it up here with us because we can't go to our van and get it no we wouldn't really we'd probably still use the toilet because that would actually be a bit crazy wouldn't bit it weird. even for us so yes we do go down to the house to use the bathroom but other than that we're up here aren't we totally and living the dream yeah because this isn't just an easy it, yeah because this isn't just an easy procedure Proceed. yeah <laughs> this isn't just an easy procedure oh i can't say that word <laughs> Have another procedure. Go. <laughs> yeah this isn't yeah this isn't just an easy procedure <laughs> She hasn't even had a beer yet. It's procedure. 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 That doesn't sound right. <laughs> procedure. Okay, so this isn't just an easy task.